Welcome back to the Shake and Bake Podcast, everybody. Where, um, everything is falling apart. Here along with me to hold it together, we have... Katie. Nick. Travers. And I'm Eric, your... Honorless host. Uh, you know, here's the Shake and Bake Podcast. We do, uh, one thing and badly. We each roll up with a topic, and we talk about that topic, and hope we don't spiral out. Uh, I would like to remind everyone that we are indeed Patreon supported. If you go on patreon.com slash shake and bake, throw us a couple bucks and you get some exclusive perks and goodies. You could get a letter. You could get a different kind of letter. You could get a letter with the writing inside of it is just a letter. You could get a laser pointer. That too? It's still there. Yeah, $30. It's a pretty good laser pointer. Signed. Signed. Sucked. Yeah. Eaten. Oh, no. No, you made it weird. Mm-hmm. That was the point. <sighs> Chad, was you going to suck the laser pointer? No. <laughs> no, because Eric will. <laughs> oh. It's so weird. I mean, I'm... I'm- my mouth is pretty much already on the line for this Patreon. The question is, do I just want to throw 30 bucks at it so I get to keep my laser pointer? <laughs> <laughs> Eric will still suck it. No. Eric will still have I to suck it. I won't let him. No, no. No, it's part of the... Eric will still have to suck it, then mail it to you. That, that's part no. of the deal. That's, that's how it works. Yeah. That's no. how it works. Yep. Doesn't matter. No. Sucks to suck. So how's everyone's week been? I've played a lot of Gundam. A lot of Gundam. I made up my mind between a Switch and a PS4. Okay. I, I, I uh, played a lot of Sudoku. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm currently playing Sudoku right now. I threatened to burn down an Ikea. What? I threatened to burn down an Ikea. I'm going to need some more context. The problem is, I'm not certain context. whether or not that's like a joke or serious. That's my fear? It's both. Because... So wait, do you decide on the Switch or the PS4? The, you, the correct answer is the PS4. No, I'm going to do the Switch. You, you should get a PS4. But I shouldn't. Eh, whatever. Listen, I had I had my own process. Who wants to take it to the top? Really? Yes. Remember, we That's just, like the order we established. We, we established that, unless otherwise s- spoken, Eric, so. <sighs> All right, Eric. What's your topic? <laughs> Eric, stop referring to yourself in the third person, please. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that. I definitely saw that. Uh, my topic's real simple because all of mine are. Cause, you know, I'm like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna say Eric. what popped into my head. Are you, are you gonna continue talking? Eric. Or? Did Leonard Skinner write a song about you? <laughs> Superman? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what's one your thing you wish you were taught? Okay. Like out of like a specific Anything. okay. Anything that you wish you were taught before now. Something you something you you had to learn on your own. Properly deal with my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> uh there is no teaching that though. No, that's that's I mean I could teach you that. Bottle them up. I don't bottle up my emotions. Just I let do. them out? I just, like... It's like, more like... He just explodes. Yeah, it's more like a controlled <laughs> dam. That you let, like, creak out every once in a while? Yes. Yeah. That's you, like, called the bottling hole, like... it up. But bottling it up doesn't let me release it. Yes, it does. No. When, when the bottle no. bottle the, when, See, that's the problem. Eric, I, I, I get what you're saying. Bottling, like, bottling it up, which is the Diversa family method... The, you don't. Like, you don't get to. You don't get to choose when that is released. My, okay, it so that's the is. point my of mine. Of, you release it when you do. Yeah, like okay. Like, so my thinking is, I I'm a lot the, closer to Eric then because I'm like, I bottle up but release it when it's like getting yes. too full. Yes. It's, Nick just waits and I co- it definitely is. For me full. though, I yeah. just still call it bottling it up because it's just shoving it all down and then releasing it later. 
Yeah. It's, it's well, like, I'm it's the like only one here who legitimately will just like cry when I need to cry. No, you don't. I cry all the time. That's the problem. God damn it. Like, this isn't cry when you need to cry. This is just cry all the time. Shut the fuck up. So yeah, it's like, it's like a controlled dam. Every day, every time, at night, when I walk down the Wawa, there is a pole, a telephone pole, that has more of my skin on it than, the, than there is wood on my knuckles. Man, I wish I learned how to save money. <laughs> That's it. I learned I knew saving money, taxes, like, and like studying, because I never learned how to like time study. management. Yeah. 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 Because I should be doing manage. so many other things and wasting my time on Sudoku, but I'm wasting my time <laughs> on Sudoku. Yeah, like this one's really I'm, important. You could be doing and wasting your time on Sudoku. I know. I wish I learned how to like invest or set up a four hundred one. But no, I know I know how to like find the Don't. area of a triangle. I'm Wait. So don't I'm companies so mostly set up 401ks for you? You just have to, like, opt into it. It's more yeah. or less a bank thing. Yeah. yeah. See, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't even... Like, I'm Best already Buy should, learning. Like, Best Buy, like, when you, like, start actually getting into it, they should allow you to set up a 401k. Yeah, they will. Depends on if it's I think full it's, time like, they match 10%. Right? No, even part-time places will. Yeah. I wish it I learned depends how to on the company, though. I wish I learned how to, like, like food. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had, like, the picky beaten out of me. I also wish you liked food. <laughs> like, food is so good. Like, food. Glorious food. food. Wonderful food. Bountiful food. I know that's a reference to something. I don't know what that is. Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist. And then redone in Ice Age 3? 2 or 3. The one with the vultures. The one with the buzzards. Did four. Dinosaurs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is it yeah, the one where they had the, the melons? I think it was Dinos. I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay. There's, ch there's too many of those movies. But, um, yeah, I wish I learned how to save money and, like, budget my life. Like, okay, I have to put this aside and this aside and this aside. Oh, I wish like, I learned self-control. I'm being yeah. forced into a budget right now. It sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to set a budget for myself. It's very difficult. But in all fairness... The first few weeks is really sucked, but now that I'm like, all right, this is how much you got to spend. This is how much you're forcing yourself to save. So it's starting to get easier. Okay. So you're saying after a couple weeks of just like it's just that it? weird ad adjustment period. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew how banks worked before I actually got into my bank. What do you mean? Remember that time when my bank fucked me? Yeah. Because the first time the bank fucked me and they kept fucking me after that. I was going to say which time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what, like overdraft? Yeah. yeah. I, I bought a book online. I was able to pay for the book, but not for the PayPal charges. So then the bank charged me for it. But because they didn't tell me they were charging me for that, I ended up getting charged again and then a third time. I've had that happen. I was charged three times for a mistake on one transaction. Banks can fuck you hard. Yeah. And there's no stopping it. Yeah. I mean, banks are a perfect system. I once got, like, one time a bank, like, just because, like, I think it was my Amazon Prime membership or something was coming out. It was 11 bucks. Mm -hmm. I had 10 in my account. So, I got hit with the overdraft. I thought I had the enough money in it. I got hit with the overdraft fee. Didn't realize it. Got hit with another one. And then another. It ended up at $200. Jesus Christ. By the end of two weeks. Jesus Christ. Yep. That's, Luckily, I was able to like... for being punished. Like, uh, I knew somebody at the back and I'm like, this is total bullshit. Yeah. And they were like, alright, we'll just cut these. So knowing people is useful. Because they're just like, alright, fine. When I was paying off the school, they had like a fee that like was like a late fee because they didn't go through the right people to start paying it off. So it was considered late. So when I finally was like, hey, I've technically been paying this off, but you guys haven't been getting the money that I paid. They were like, okay, we're going to cut that fee. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I would hope so. Just yeah. dealing with money is exhausting. But it's something you need to know. Yeah, it's, but you know what I mean, right? Like, it's just like a... 
Uh, Capitalism, Katie. I wish I learned how to trust. I don't think that's something Jesus. that can be taught. I honestly Jesus. don't believe that's something that can be oh my taught. God. I should... Okay, I mean trust things like my bank. Okay. Because you realize how bad that blanket statement sounded, right? What? I don't know how to trust? Yeah. He doesn't. I wish I learned, uh, what is it, um, rope. What? They oh, the knots. Time knots? Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a specific term for it used on ships. Oh. Yes. Oh, Ready? fuck. I don't remember. I wish I had stayed with tap and, like, learned how to tap dance. I also wish I learned an instrument. I wish I learned, yeah. I was going to say, I wish I learned an instrument. Yeah. Other than the fucking recorder. I mean, you can do hot cross buns, right? Hot. <laughs> you can what? do hot cross Nick, buns. You got a problem with the recorder? <laughs> yes. It's, it's useless. Loud. It's loud. It's annoying. And it's a useless instrument. <laughs> that too. No one likes hot the recorder, Travers. Buns. Don't even try that. I know, but that's true. Get a pay for... Get a... Uh, Pay Rigging. Downloads. That's the word. Did we already say rigging, that? yep. Yep. Oh, is that what you said? I already said that. You said rigging, rigging. already? Oh. I heard, like, binding or something, and I was like... What? But yeah, no, uh... I wish I learned how to count cards. It's such a useless thing, but it's something I'd really want to learn as well. This is kind of last week's topic, isn't it? Was it? I don't know. Yes, Did you say back pocket that? skills. Yeah. Ooh, this is too close. Too close, yeah. <laughs> too close. I just realized that as I was thinking, I'm like, I wish I learned that. Oh, wait. Wow. That's like a back pocket. That's more of a back pocket skill. Yeah, I was, I was about to so say, I, I wish I learned So I did the to same like, topic shit. in two weeks. Unless I do that thing. Hey. What thing? <laughs> Sit on it. Yeah. It's that simple. All I gotta do is... You, you know, can sit on this one. Sit on one of these. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah. We should just get, like, do, like, an eject button. I mean, you just have to stop a topic. So the button we can just hit. There is a button that we can hit. It's called a stop button. <laughs> so, since I've realized how useless my topic is now... <laughs> Katie. Yeah. What's the topic? So, my topic, right? You guys know, I think, I've said this multiple times in this podcast, that I love Disney. It's my love in life. But I was I was reading some things about, like, failed park attractions that they have. And, like, Walt Disney World. Eric, shut the fuck up. I hate you. Uh, and, like, failed park attractions that they have. And, like, old rides that kind of just been left abandoned, like, in the park. Like, if you walk into Disney Calif- like uh, Disneyland in California... And you walk into Tomorrowland, there's these tracks that go all the way around the park that are literally just sitting there crumbling. Yeah. Like, they're never used. They're, they were the people mover tracks, and then they turned them into rocket rods. But then, like, the way the tracks were, couldn't handle the speed the rocket rods went on, so they just closed their ride down, and they never took down the tracks. Yeah. So, like, literally, they've had lawsuits where people have gotten hit with crumbling cement. Okay. Which is crazy. So, what I wanted to know is, like, I was thinking about, like, they just opened, I think, Disney Sea just opened in Tokyo. So if you guys had to open a Disney park, where would it be, and what would its like main center like focus be? Mm. Real quick, Eric, I like how we both did the exact same thing. Wait, what? What we did? Yeah. Oh. Mine was for only like a brief second, but we did. Yeah, you you went a little long there. Yeah, because I had heard all of this already. Yeah. You know, we watched the video. Okay, what's well, up? Yesterday. Shut up. Not the point here. Yeah. Where would you guys want to put a park? And what would you want its main focus to be? Venice. Nick? <laughs> Call it Disney Florida. Atlantis. <laughs> the failing city yes. of Venice. Because, think of it this way, as the city sinks, all the rides are going to be changing and upgrading. Or they just... It's the constantly changing. Or yes, they just let the be. park sink into the ocean don't give a fuck. Because that's happened before. That's also true. It could also just become Disney Atlantis. Guys. Nick. So, I mean... I mean, we could have Kita run Katie, around. you never said it had to be 
Yeah, to be financially responsible. Or <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you never did say Or that even remotely possible. Responsible. You just said, where do you want it? Okay, I, that's fair. All right, all right. Travers. <laughs> I thought of something. I'm like, no. That's a real stupid idea. Are you going? What? The moon? The Yukon? Oh, Mars. Oh. I thought you I, meant I, I, North. I, I, no, my mind went to, like, just <laughs> piggybacking off Nick, the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> <laughs> Not ocean-based parts, huh? No. Yeah. Because, though, I was thinking of Australia. I'm like, because Australia, I don't think, has one. Neither does New Zealand. Nope. So I'm like, but in the also outback. they 80% dead. <laughs> in the outback. They'd have <laughs> so much room to do shit. But They'd only have to the, worry about emus. And, like, the desert. <laughs> <laughs> and what? Well, they get, they're Disney. They're rich as fuck. Yeah, they have running water, Katie. I mean, the, the Vegas exists. Exactly. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> okay. They, Disney could make another Vegas in the Outback. <laughs> that would be badass. That like That's what they could idea. call it, the out Vegas of the Outback. The out Vegas of the Outback. No, no just Vegas. Vegas of the Outback. Okay. Yeah. I am going to start Vegas of the Outback now. <laughs> there will be, it will be like Vegas. Except with more blackjack and more hookers. <laughs> um, I feel like Disney won't let that happen. Nah. I'm gonna do it myself. <laughs> Maybe Australia won't let that happen, Travers. Yeah, Australia is. A I'll pay low. them a lot of taxes. Yeah. People will shut up when you give them money. Australia is re remarkably strict when it comes to when it comes to shit like that. Look at their gaming censorship laws. I know. Really? That's why you have to pay off the government. Nick. Yeah. There's just straight up and for mature games that just never come out of Australia. Huh. Really? There's just a lot of things that never come out of Australia? Like fun. Also, their like, internet is so bad that it's a lot of times better to put the files on a flash drive and drive them over. <laughs> that's, that, that's bad. I need to bring yeah. civilization to Australia is what I'm hearing. <laughs> no, you, you need, need to bring advancement. <laughs> you need to bring better infrastructure. So Vegas in the Outback is a great idea. <laughs> to help fund the, the improved infrastructure, yeah. Exactly. Oh. I'll take over the Australian government. I, I could be bad jerky, right? No, it smells like your are you just gonna, You're just going to turn... If you do that, you're just going to turn New Zealand into frickin' uh, Middle Earth, aren't you? I, I mean, mean, it already is. Much of a nerd. And it pretty much is. Like, they pretty much haven't removed it. Yeah. Hobbiton's still there. Yeah. Well, you can still go there, right? Yeah. yeah, I think so. It's considered like a tourist attraction. Yeah. yeah. Because that's all New Zealand has going for it. It's pretty there. Okay. We've got some pretty mountains. There's yeah. other places that are pretty that don't have as much tourist attractions as New Zealand. Like the sinking of city one. of Venice. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm pretty sure that has more than New Zealand. It probably it is, well, has. Venice. Probably. It's also in Europe. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, one in Rome where it's just entirely built around the Colosseum. <laughs> and there's mascot fights in the pit. <laughs> oh, this is so... This is just escalated to something so ridiculous. So, Eric, if you could have a Disney park... <laughs> See, mine was going to be Disneyland Safari. Okay. Somewhere in Africa where you can benefit off of... The, the actual... The actual and... safari, and then if Disney's there, they can... Care for the animals, make them so a big one. So what desert. I'm hearing is, yeah, okay, Animal Kingdom Africa. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait. That's exactly it, except bigger. Yeah, okay. Like except, I wish it could be, but like across three country lines. <laughs> I, I mean, Disney probably has enough money. But do they have the political influence? Yes, they're Disney. Okay. Yeah, and then I, I I don't know if like. Eric, this might be a very big overgeneralization about Africa and its it, governments, but I'm pretty sure money can get you whatever you want. Oh, no, that, well, no money cannot get you whatever you want. Diamonds will. <laughs> oh, we Disney have these useless diamonds. diamonds. There's a reason that Africa is, is mostly done with conflict diamonds. Yeah. Because well, this... they're large, raw, uncut diamonds, which yeah. have a Based. considerably massive value compared to cut diamond. Eric, all we have are these useless diamonds. All we have are these useless diamonds now. 
They are pretty useless. No, there's a no, stupid no, no. scene in uh Once Upon a Time where like they Okay, fairy dust? It's diamonds. But like it the, the magic is in the diamonds. Is it like cocaine? More or less. But basically there's a scene where like the fairy dust gets sucked out of all the diamonds. You're like, well now what? And Harry's like, yeah, all we have is these useless diamonds. So there's a a Ramstein video. Where uh, it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Okay. Ramstein are the Seven Dwarves, and they're mining diamonds for Snow White to snort. That's weird. That's called cool. cocaine, Eric. Yeah. So yeah, I want. Uh, what was it called? Ma- Nature King. Not Animal, Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Massive. In Africa. Yeah, but the ba- the weird thing is, I want it like in Africa because one, it's more natural, mm. and two, they can. I don't know. Stop poaching. Actually do good. Care for the animals. Okay. That's understandable. Like, of course, Disney's not going to own all the animals. They'll just own a couple refuges. Mm -hmm. Refuge. Refuges? Refuges, yeah. Refuges. Reserves. Reserves. Yes. They'll they'll own a couple reserves. Reserves would be the best word for that. Yeah. Yeah. Pulling them closer together. Obviously, making sure that the lions can't get too close to whatever lions eat, which is, I'm everything. pretty sure, everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you can let the lions get close to whatever the lions eat. Go it's called the circle of life. That's also true. They, they, they can play they... that all the time. <laughs> it's the circle. Every it. night. Actually, they can do that on the way a, in. Every night there's a movie night where they can just watch the Lion King. Every, every night there's a movie night where they see the Lion King in action. <laughs> oh, no. All you have to do is make sure that the lions don't get too close to the people. Because then you have a lawsuit on your head. Yeah. I want a, I want a Disney World Canada. Um, no. We're Why? still talking about mine. <laughs> Alrighty then. Because what I really want is Jurassic Park. Okay. Jurassic Park, like, they put you in your... The, the, like, you will drive up your car, you'll get in their Jeep. Mm-hmm. It'll be, like, battery operated. You drive it around the reserve. Uh, you didn't see, uh... What's it called? Jurassic World, so you didn't see the uh, balls they were in. No, oh, I saw them in the trailer. Hat. Yeah, like that. I saw them in the trailer. Except for yeah, Jimmy that. Fallon was in them. Oh, no. Well, don't, we don't they need have... Jimmy Fallon. Wait, aren't they making stuff, though, at Universal for that? Uh, uh, probably. Because I know they're doing a Jurassic Park thing, in, like a new one in Universal. So, you may just want to go to Universal Studios. I just want animals. Okay. Eric wants to protect nature. Actually, for once, yes. <laughs> Eric wants to do some good in the world. Yay! It's not it's not October fourteenth yet. <laughs> what? What? October fourteenth, the one day a year he does. Oh, like he does something good. Oh. If I don't sit him in this episode, this comes out. October fourteenth is a Saturday. Is this might come out October thirteenth? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're doing. You're, you're doing that now. Anyway, I want to make a Disney World in Canada, and I want to be like a, like, I don't know. I think Canada would be cool. Well, um, yeah. It might be too cool. close well, to all no, the what they could do was, I was looking at like a map of Canada, and they could put it in like, that's... I was looking at One of the map. desolate sure. regions of Canada? No, 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 no. Where oh. Niagara Falls is. And then capitalize on Niagara Falls. Capitalize then, on Niagara Falls and the surrounding... Uh, tourist areas. American areas, so that instead of going too to far the end Canada. of... The, to either end of America instead you'll just go closer north to a park. The question is will Canada allow that? Probably not. Most likely not. But I just talked about shoving a bunch of reserves next to each other. <laughs> yeah, but... And I'm about to suggest one around the Great Wall of China Venice where faster. it's just a co- roller coaster that goes throughout oh my the God. entire Great Wall. That thing will collapse so <laughs> fast. <laughs> oh, first yeah. collapse within a oh. minute. Oh, yeah. Surprised it hasn't come down already. It more or less is. Yeah, people. It's because also of people just taking breaks. Yeah, because yeah. they have names and bones in them. That's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of dead bodies. Oh, in yeah. Great Wall of China was. Also, metal. this wouldn't work at all. But I'm already talking about building one in a sinking city. Please. One on the moon. Where it's all just <laughs> treasure planet themed. Oh, my God. And I would be happy. <sighs> Don't look at me I'm like that. I'm honestly surprised Travis didn't say Mars, though. Because I feel like that'll happen eventually. Yeah, that's an eventuality. That isn't going to happen in my lifetime. 
Unless you make it happen in your lifetime. Eric, in order for me to make that happen in my <laughs> lifetime, <laughs> I will really actually need to be Musk. emperor of the earth. Or be really good friends with Elon Musk. No. No, Richard Branson. No, the Richard reason, Branson would be a better start. No, the reason I would have to be actual emperor of the earth is because then I'd be able to, like, dedicate a fuck ton of funds to this project. <laughs> Guys, the music park on the moon! Guys, we're going to Mars! <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so... Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd like to take this time to remind everybody we are indeed Patreon-supported. If you throw us a couple bucks, the show will be better. And I like doing the show, and I think these guys do too. And if we can do it better, you can get it better. You also, give us money, it becomes better for you. Also, you can get a laser pointer. <laughs> Also, that goddamn laser pointer. <laughs> you can Nick, kiss Eric. Take it What's your topic? Take it before Travers does. So, guys. Future's a scary place. Okay. That's hurtful, Eric. That's hurtful. I fell asleep for real before. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it real this time. That's also true. Oh my god. But guys, future's a scary place. Yes. Nothing's for certain besides death. Taxes. That's kind of what the taxes. future means. And taxes. And I'm not too sure about What's the What's your biggest fear Ooh. for the future? Taxes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's there's fair. No, yeah, like, yeah I mean, like... There's nothing else we can really... Like, I don't know what the future's gonna hold. Yeah. If I know it's gonna have taxes, I can be afraid of taxes. <laughs> Eric, Give me you... my drink. Eric, how can you be afraid of taxes? Alright, fine. Let me rephrase. What are you afraid of happening the most in the future? Being overtaxed. <laughs> no, um... no, I already fought a war about that. Alright, well, yeah. That's yeah, fine. our first one. Yeah. That's, I think, the only one. Yeah. Well, there was a few rebellions, but... There was never, like, a full-fledged war about that. I don't know. It was called like the Whiskey Rebellion or something. There was the Whiskey, there was Shaw's, which is just like a farmer rebellion about how the new government was taxing farmers. And then we made the newer government. Yes. The one we have now. Yes. The Articles of the Confederations was fucked. Yes, it was. Anyway, not what we're talking about. No. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, I never liked thinking about the future a lot because I don't like uncertainty. So you're like the stock market. I guess. The stock market doesn't like uncertainty. Sure. I mean, I guess you're not wrong. It's just a weird comparison. Travers? Actually having to have a grown-up conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, I realized this could very easily be within the next... Hold on, let me do some math. Seven months. Yep. Of me actually having to have a grown-up conversation. Yep. I don't want to have grown-up conversations. Nope. That's no. That's just about near future. Grown-up conversations are really depressing. Yeah. yeah. It's either So you either end up like, okay, that's good, or you end up crushed. Yeah. Yeah. There there's, is no middle ground. I mean, there's compromise. But then everyone ends I, up crushed. <laughs> everyone ends up half-crushed. You're still somewhat crushed, though. Are you... Are you crushed, though? You're Maybe. still somewhat crushed, so I'm gonna go with a yes here? <laughs> Why, when I look on the brighter side, you people crush it? <laughs> Eric, you're the only one of us who's... You wanna go down oh. that path again? On oh, positive? You really wanna go you're down the that path? the most optimistic of us? I mean, if you guys say so. I do. I'm Eric, trying you're the to only get one that didn't want to shoot themselves. Well, because that's a really stupid answer to any question. <laughs> not if what's one way to kill yourself? Shooting yourself. That's not a stupid answer. No, but you can come up with a cooler one. Yes, it would be fast. 
if done correctly, it would be the fastest. Gating, what are you Actually, doing? the fastest would be us uh, like right here. <laughs> like, what? like fa fastest least painful. I mean, we actually don't know how painful it would be. No, yeah, it would just be like take a screwdriver, just. No, no, I'm talking like. Oh no, yeah, we have no clue. No one knows how painful that would be. I mean, I guess Malala Yosef side does. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Do you know who she is, Nick? You know oh, who no. Malala Yosef Sai? Okay. No. Yosef Sai? Yosef Sai, yeah. Okay. No she idea who the fuck that is. She was a 16-year-old Pakistani girl who stood up for a girl's education yep. when the Taliban came into her hometown, yep. and they shot her in the face because she stood up to them. Okay. And she lived. She like. Is she lived and then won a Nobel Peace Prize. Yep. What? I feel like we learned about her. Yes, we did. We did. Okay. Several yeah. times. Did you met her? I met her. Yep. No, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. We went and like saw her get the Liberty Medal in Philly and... Talk to her. She was really awesome. It was cool. Mm. Literally the most famous person I've met. I haven't met anyone famous. It depends on the quality Anyone famous. actually famous. Because yeah. you have met a few YouTubers, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess the most famous person I would have met been, would have been Nate. That's about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared that, like... I don't know. That, like, literally anything can happen in the future. Do you know that what I mean? is kind of the point of the future. But you get my yeah. point. Like, I like being in control of a lot of stuff and, like, okay, we're going to do this, 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 this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm calling bullshit on that. On what? She likes to be in control? No, no, no she likes to have, have a set plan. <laughs> Whether I can organize one is not the point, but I like to have one. Mm -hmm. Nick. Nick, when... now is not the time to be petty. <laughs> I'm the only person. Allowed... I don't know if you're actually trying to be petty or I'm not. I'm the only Neither person allowed to snap like a bear trap. God damn it. Exactly. Like, once someone steps in it, I got you. Full on talons out, teeth sharpened. That's the Venus poly trap. Some would say it's the nature's bear trap. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Don't think they'll also close, like, slowly. Incredibly slowly. Slow enough for a fly not to notice it. I would have thought it would have been quicker. The, so nope. the fly can't react. No, the, but the point really is... Fast. The fly would nestle down deeper. So then when... It closes enough for the fly to feel it. The top is already closed. Yeah. Uh, it's got some long, yeah. stronger Challenge. than a fly. Teeth. I've seen a carnivine. A what? <sighs> we are seven minutes into this topic, and now you do that. Yeah. <laughs> um. I do. I mean, I don't have as many fears about the future because. Any fears I have of the future or any fears I have now, just mm -hmm. for a future me. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. I'm... Do you have an example, Eric? The usual. Dying, not knowing what I'm going to do with my life. Being alone? No. I have nope. that too. I, I think it would be physically impossible. The only way for me to actually be alone would be if I stopped trying. My first impression on both of you was insulting and, uh, what's it called? Disappointing. Who? These two. Uh, okay. The first thing I told you was to fuck off. <laughs> I was abrasive to all three of you when I first met you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm talking to all three of you on a podcast right now. Mm -hmm. And one of them, I've been dating for two years. So the other I... one has long hair. <laughs> that <would be> me. <laughs> I think. I don't know if he's talking about Katie twice. <laughs> I think you're the one he's been dating. Right? Sure. Not well... I've happen. known him for about two years now. You both have. No. No. I'm still under two years. Are yeah. you? Uh-huh. Oh, you've been dating Nick. Cool. All right. Should I move so you guys can 
to be no. to be intimate and no. loving. No, I kind of divorced him for you. No <laughs> shit. But see, this is this is a good relationship. I had him for a week, and you took him for me, Katie. <laughs> What's that? I mean, last That's Christmas it. I gave him That's my heart. One. The very next day, he gave it away. <laughs> but yeah, like the only way for me to be alone would be if I stopped trying. Okay. Mm. And I want to point out, I didn't try with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of just happened. That's fair. Yeah, I forget, I forget what we talked about on... Have we talked about first impressions on podcasts? No. I think so. We talked about... I think we just couples. brought them up, not yeah. talked about them. Yeah, because I remember, I remember telling you, like, my first impression of you was... Between you, Alex, and Peter, is like... He seems okay, but he's probably going to be the one the I end wh- up spending the least amount of time with. Boy, was I <laughs> fucking wrong. <laughs> Didn't Travers be like, this isn't Eric's girlfriend. Yeah, one of you. I, no, I didn't realize it, you were <laughs> Eric's girlfriend, because I'm like, I don't know how I was expected to realize yeah. that. For, for me, the first time I met you, it just didn't make fucking sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Well, now actually getting to know her as a person, it makes total, it makes total complete sense. Did, hold on, getting to know her as a person, post Eric. That's also true. God, it was awful when we were in high school. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, my biggest fear, my biggest fear, and the thing I'm part of me is looking to- towards the most, being a dad. Really? Yeah. That's just straight up my biggest fear is like being a parent. That sounds. I don't want to be a dad. You do. Yeah. Cool, uncle. I have practice. Why are you staring at me? Yeah. You know, why'd you? What? I'm, I'm, I'm mentally looking at all of you at once. Mentally <laughs> looking at all work. of you. Yeah, but Nick, yeah. there's such a big difference between that. Oh, us man. and, like, actual children. Remember, remember, we talked about this last week or two weeks ago, whenever this one actually comes out. You two are the kids. Oh, yeah. Katie mm-hmm. and I are the parents. That would be two weeks ago. Yep. Okay. Now it is because he's not allowed to sit on it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's too good not to sit on. Um. Yeah, no, children actually terrify me. Like, like having a child. Oh, yeah. It's fucking terrifying. The worst part is I can't stand kids. I can't. Why do you want to be a dad? That's also a fair point. I Let me finish. I can't stand kids. <laughs> Unless they're one of the few that are actually like well behaved. Impossible. There's no, a few. Been some, no, I've I mean, seen a few. Like I swear, like working retail has that's, ruined. That's also you see them in a, a specific instance or a specific context. You don't see them all the time. Every kid will at least once and once during a day will misbehave. In my opinion, in my experience. Oh no, Katie! I've seen some fucking terrible kids. I'm no, sure you have too. Yeah. Like. <laughs> and then she cares for one. Don't get spiteful, Eric. He was saying Against himself. himself? Oh. <laughs> I thought where you were. I thought too, like you know? I was. I was more yep. paying more attention to this than like what was actually like being yep. pointed or anything. Yep. Um, no, children terrify me. Like that's something I. Ugh. Ugh. Children. Oh yeah, but kid, you're also the one that would have to give birth. Yeah, that's my point. He's like, listen, I vomited when I saw the birth video in high school. Did your teacher rewind, rewind it? Yes. And play slow it. Motion? Yes. Then rewind it, fast yes. forward. Really. We, he rewound it and we watched the placenta go back up. It was the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. See, by the time I saw the birth video in high school, I was completely unaffected by it. Mm-hmm. Because I'd seen my sister give birth. Oh, gee, wait, you watched it happen? Dude, that's terrifying. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's incredibly terrifying. I'm amazed that I can still look at my niece right now. Yeah, so am I. Like, what what, what abomination are you? Because, like, here's the thing. A kid isn't, like, a dog. Where, like... No, no, they pretty are. No. They pretty much are. No, but you know what I mean. Like, I, I forgot I, the much the first time. <laughs> they pretty are. Um, I feel like a kid's much more permanent than a dog is. Okay, well, yeah, but the stakes are also raised. Your kid bites someone, he gets a timeout. My dog bites someone, he gets put down. Yeah. It's just that context, though. I don't know. 
You see my point. I'd rather have like three dogs than like any children. No, I'd rather a child than any than a dog. Why? A child's able to look after you in your old age. Yeah. Yeah. A dog, it will be dead. Long <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. And then shit. you have to retrain another dog to do the no, same thing. Alright, fine, Katie. Let's say I'm twenty five. Okay. I get a dog. Okay. Dogs. You'll have it until you're thirty. Uh, no, I'll have it until I'm like let's say 50. 40. Okay. No, like 15 years. Okay. Let's say 50. All right, so that's me at 40. Shit, I lost a dog. And by this point, I probably would have actually then been probably my second dog lost because my current one. Yeah. So it's me now down two dogs. It's really sad. <laughs> so now it's like, all right, let's say I want to get another one. I'll be losing that one at 65 <laughs> when I'm retiring. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, they're totally going to be able to look after me when I'm old. With their non-opposable thumbs. <laughs> Listen. Well, we don't know that for sure. Science can go far away by that point. Do you know where you can leave? Science can go far away. <laughs> <laughs> like, science. go away, science. But also, no one likes you. That's, that's, that's but Katie, that's also, dog, science. children carry on your legacy. <laughs> I don't care about my legacy. At all. Well, yeah. He yeah. does. Wait. By the time that I have a kid, there will be one Ashtamera left. Is it you? Is it remember? EJ? It'll be EJ. Oh shit, yeah. And hopefully What about he has a kid. Wouldn't not your... Chris he's not No. Else. Take it back a generation. Both dead. Also, my father's also adopted. That I forget that. Yep. I never knew that. I remember yeah. you told me that's that. A, I'm like, that's a whole weird issue. That's a whole weird scene. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, oh. Would you be the only Estramer? Take it back. Hey, again. it's not on you to carry on the legacy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but now it's up to you to start a new legacy. Gladly will. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I like how I think Nick was expecting more like pushback from that. I, I don't know how there would be not. any pushback from that. I don't know. I just I thought Nick was gonna be like, "All right, do it." He's be like, "Blah blah blah." I do it, Mr. Belmont. Yeah, they will. <laughs> like cool. that is the best way Eric could have answered that question. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Like, the future's scary, but it isn't that scary. I'm terrified of the future. Take it a day at a time. <sighs> It's exactly scary as you make it. Yeah. Like, the future is still tomorrow, and the future is the day after that. Now, is tomorrow any scarier than next week? No. For you, it's seven months, but... <laughs> yeah, seven months, but also... But next month isn't going to kill you. No. Yeah. No. Like, it's... Six months, you're fine. <laughs> no, it's no, like... six months, but those bashing his head on the wall. No, but then, though, I... The thing is, though, it's like... So let's say seven months is my timeline, right? When you die. By six months, I'd probably already have a feeling of like what's how of it's what's gonna going to go. Down. Yeah. Oh, no. The thing right now is I don't have any. I just hit the mic. Ooh. <laughs> I have no idea how it's going to go down. Who knows? But in six months' time, I'll probably have a feeling, which will then make it a lot less scary. Yeah. That's why. Think ahead to the future, but don't think about it too much. Yeah. What the only day that's important is tomorrow. I don't, Eric. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, that is the, and sure. Then also, like, don't forget anniversaries. Don't forget birthdays. But <laughs> oh no, that's the thing I'm more scared about. Than Getting me. an anniversary. Yes. God help your soul, my friend. I Nick. am terrible with dates. I am absolutely Nick. terrible. Nick, 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 I'm going to tell you something that's kind of great. It's something that was invented, I want to say, in 97. I don't actually know when it was added to this device. But on your phone, <laughs> there's a calendar. And you think that would help? Yes. You Nick. think that would help? Nick. Oh, you have to do is set it once and set it for every year. Every year. And then also you could set, you could also do the day before as well for every year to be like, hey, reminder, anniversary is tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to do that now. I have, like, that's what I have set up every month for my uh, bills and stuff I have to pay. It's like, this is all coming out tomorrow. The amount of times, like, 
on the week leading up to our two-year anniversary, he was like, so it's this date, right? No, it's the day before that. Like. It's that day? No, no. That day. There you go. Eric, it's the... I got the month different. Yeah. The... Man, One I month back. I, 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 I've tried doing that. I've either... Have okay, you know what, Nick? Completely ignore you know the what, notification. Nick? When when you get to that point, tell me your anniversary. Well, whose fault out. was that then? Also, that, Nick, no, it's you entirely would, mine. You ignored the notification. Mine. It's entirely mine. Go I'm not ahead. saying I'm not blaming yeah. anyone else. Nick, when you when you get to that point and you have an anniversary, tell me the date. I won't forget it. All right. She'll forget it. No, I won't. So. Yeah. Travis. All right. What's your topic? Alright, so, the reason I'm going to have to have this adult conversation in <laughs> seven months. So, no, seriously, I'm in the process of, like, doing college applications and God, it's hell the second time around. But, uh, I was thinking, like, by, within, by next August, mm. I'll know where I'm going to be for at least the next four years. Yeah. Whether that is still here or somewhere else in the country. Odds are, it's going to be somewhere else in the country. I was going to say. Because out of 17 schools, one will say yes. <laughs> one. <laughs> Hopefully. But, like I'm thinking, where would you guys like to live when the, you're older? The moon. How much older? Venice in a scuba like, suit. Oh as an adult. God, like, as an adult. Like, your adult yes. life, where would you like to spend it? Venice in a scuba suit. California. Where in California? Uh, wherever I can step out onto what I guess would be my porch or probably just my front steps. <laughs> I sit on my stoop with either a coffee or a beer in exactly what I wear today and uh, enjoy. Enjoy a nice day in the sun. Okay. I can bring out my dog with me. You I cannot believe I will have. I just said dog. Uh -huh. I was gonna say, you would have like three cats. No, that can make me sound lonely. It was subconscious. He actually wants a dog. <laughs> yeah, well, I want. I want a dog for California so I can you take want, him around. You want Cookie? Yes. You want my dog? Yes. I don't want a small dog. But that's I, not the point. Small I'm dogs, fat cats. cats. That's fair. I got a medium sized dog. I've had a small dog. Well, those are fine. Just don't get a, a, a yappy dog. There's a difference. Yeah. I, would, I, would want, I would want something decently sized. Like, uh, Congress Spaniel is probably the smallest I would get. Mm. I always wanted a golden retriever. Like, it's probably like the smallest I'd get. Really? I, lo German I love Cookie, though. Because Cookie, I could just like hug. I could just wrap my arms around her and just like... Yeah, you can do, you dude, can that, do that with Kylo dog. as well. No, because Kylo will eat my face. That's just... That's, you didn't that, train him well. Yeah. That's not my fault. <laughs> Whose fault is it then? <laughs> Anyone else in my house. So um, why isn't it your fault? Because the dog has gotten against my will and my parents didn't train anyone to teach. I don't know. Anyway. So that still sounds like your fault. Yeah. I mean, you. ooh, no, Eric, don't. Uh-huh, thank you. <laughs> Come on, Eric. No, you I know you want really to. can't say this. Nope. Continue. Um... I would want I want to live in a big city. Like I would love to live in a city. Like especially New York is probably like my biggest goal just cuz I'm a girl and a hipster so I want to live in New York. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. New York is definitely my my place to be, but I don't I would also love to live in like Los Angeles. California is a pretty cool place. I want to go there first before I You know what I mean? I've never been to the West Coast, which would be really fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, New York is where I want to live. Somewhere cold. Really? Yeah. So you're the you're gonna be the one that lives in Alaska? Nah, I'm not gonna go all the way out to fucking Alaska. Fuck that. Just somewhere cold. There's a lot of snow. Like New Hampshire? Yeah. Yukon. Hmm. <laughs> Maine? I don't know. I just know somewhere cold where there's a lot of snow. And that every night I can put on a roaring fire. So Alaska. I mean, Alaska, yeah. I can do that every night. 
I mean, like, in, like, a fireplace. Oh. I would want a fireplace. I mean, but I could people still have fireplaces around here. I can't turn it on every night. You can. You just, just hate yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, without you hating yourself. You turn it on, open every single window, fans going out. Yeah. It would just be one of those days. My problem is I would like to live in a city and have a fireplace, but I don't think that's how that works. It yes, doesn't. not at all how it works. <laughs> no. No, if you're in a city, you're getting an apartment. Yeah. So better thing... Or like a... So better thing of a way to tell how... Like you, a home, is that what yeah. they're called? Yeah, like a twin. Yeah. So better thing of ways to tell your kids how Santa gets into your house. Your I, never had, I never had a fireplace, yeah. Huh. My mom, we window, would have a whole thing door. where we would... We had special keys and we would leave them outside on the porch for Santa when I was younger. And that's how Santa would get in. Yeah, my parents didn't tell me about Santa. We were the just then. told that he walked through the front door. No, he had like he had like special keys and. Stuff. It's always chimney. Do you have a chimney? Yeah. We don't. So like yeah. that's why I was like, yeah, no, I never he has to go. That. He has to go through the front door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't have a chimney or a fireplace or anything like that. I was telling kids like it's in like the Santa Claus maybe with Tim Allen, where one just that magically forms out of the radiator. That would be awesome. Yeah, no. Let's see. I'm going to go for a specific place. Um, the moon. Why Honest- do you want to live on the moon? Because the, the, the moon. Because you're alone. <laughs> no, that would be too alone. <laughs> that would be trying to be alone. And we all know if I did that, I'd die. Yeah, he would. <laughs> I die. I would yeah. seriously die from lack Eric, of human I communication. Think, yeah, Eric gets his energy from people. Yes. Like, w- when I come home from Zenkai, I don't feel drained, I feel hungry. Eric is the most extrovert of us. That's fair. Maybe or that's why one, he wouldn't two, cheer himself. Three, four, I think. No, I think it might go three, four. You think? Yeah. For introverted is? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Like, most introvert, second, third, and least two. Yeah. yeah. About a doubt. That's probably how it would go, but I mean, I need like a one day a month to introvert. <laughs> you know, I still want to spend a, just a couple years in Austin. There's no snow there. I know. At all. Nick. No, it was the exact opposite of where like I preferred There was three years ago where they got like half an inch of snow and like oh, the, the entire, entire city, city shut down. Like, yeah. In, yeah. Like, like, yeah, the, and like I'm, the entire state of Georgia like, just like shut down. Well, the the cold place for when like I'm like old and like retired or some shit. So Actually, Alaska. <laughs> I don't want to go to Alaska. There's I don't nothing in Alaska. You. It's pretty. You know, if I Alaska, it's California. pretty, but there's nothing in Alaska. If yeah, I live like in California, fourteen hours of sunlight the, every day. Their cold will be my average weather. <laughs> It'll, the, everyone will put on their jackets uh-huh. and hoodies, and I'll just simply Eric. walk out in some jeans and like. Eric, what? <laughs> everyone will be wearing jackets and hoodies and jeans regularly. Why? Because Californians hate themselves and they, they want to look good all the time. And I'll just be sitting there with my tank top and cargo shorts. Like, what? It could be 105, <laughs> but I'll still wear jeans and, and like, probably even a jacket. Yep. Because they gotta look good. The only problem of living in California would be they don't have Wawa. Nope. Yeah. If they don't have Wawa. Listen. That is like New I'm York dying. has some Wawas. Just saying. I, I'm like thinking there. I'm like, what the fuck just fell? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. I know exactly what fell, and it's not important. Is it one of your amiibos? No. It was the battery, wasn't it? No. It's not important. Continue. It's anyway, important now. I either want to live in like London or in San Francisco. Like about what you were about to say mm-hmm. earlier. Eric? Is it important like that? What was he about to say? Earlier? I don't know. I he was about remember. to say something. What was he How about long to ago? say? When we were talking about training Kylo. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah. So, Glad you remember because I forgot we were talking about. Oh my god. <laughs> no, like you know, of a squirrel. London or San Francisco. London would be fun to live in for. Well, I wouldn't want to live there permanently. I don't think. But I would like to live there for a bit. Also, my thinking though is like, I do think jobs. Mm-hmm. But also, those would be two pretty. San Francisco would be the weirder one because there was one like one person I followed. He went to San Francisco for like a week for some convention or something, mm-hmm. and he's like, "I never thought I would have to like carry around pepper spray, but San Francisco makes me want to carry around pepper spray." <laughs> There's a lot of insane hobos. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're in also their like housing market's ridiculously expensive. I don't know. That'd be fun. That's the insane homos. Yeah. What would be the Okay. So that's where you'd want to live. Where would you hate to live? Alaska. Here. But it's cold here, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Only for a quarter of the year. I do like the fact that we have all four seasons. Only for a third. I mean, like, our cold extends a little True. more than it should. Yeah. I like that we legitimately have all four seasons. But, yeah, we have all four seasons, and one of them is cut in half. <laughs> but I would have to live in Alaska <laughs> or, like, below the equator. Below the equator? Yes. So, like... Argent like the southern tip of Argentina is a no. Yeah. Even though it'd be probably about equal to here. You do know how that works, right? Never mind. Ignore me. On the equation. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, uh, Katie, you do realize it's like a It's a balance thing. I would never place? I would never want to live in uh New York City. Really? I I couldn't I, 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 A, I don't think I would actually really like it. Okay. B, I, that close and that compact, I... Oh, I love it. I think really it's great. Like. And, plus, and plus, I really like driving my car, but I know if I live... And yeah, if, I any know, place, no any place like anymore. L.A. or New York, like, there's really no need to. There's no driving. Public transit. Mm. Yeah. I'd bike or around a bike, bike. Yeah. 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 Or walking. I'd bike around. Like, hell, I mean... No, in California, I'd bike everywhere. Yeah. That'll be good for me, but I, I just I like driving too much. A bike everywhere. Have a length. Of, I would have my bike chain wrapped around my waist when I'm biking, and then I use it to break someone's side view mirror. Shut up, Eric. Eric, <laughs> what the? Travis, where do you not want to? I live? promise you, in California, there's gonna be that guy, and I'm gonna break his side view. <laughs> my I'm gonna take that like, thing and just bash. Right now, I'm like just thinking like. I'd hate to live somewhere where it's, like, cold all year round, because, well... You're cold all year round. Yeah. But I'd also hate to live somewhere where it is just warm. Yeah. Like That's I, why I, I, I like the East Coast. It's too humid. I live in Virginia. Virginia's nice. Eh. Would you say it's almost heaven? <laughs> I'm about to step up and break your leg. <laughs> <laughs> I am That's silly. not even the right state. No, it's okay. West Virginia. <laughs> I'm going to stand up and punch you in the fucking gut if you keep going. I wasn't going to. I was going to stop there. <laughs> I will beat you. <laughs> She's the one that will keep going. I'm stopping there. But, uh... Oh, my God. Yeah, I would live in Virginia. <laughs> No, I can't really can't think of anywhere that I not that anywhere I wouldn't want to live, but anywhere I would really want to live that's like central U.S. I don't want to live in Nevada. Yeah, I would not want to be in Nevada. Cause like the distance. yeah, I don't want to have to conserve water. I like my long showers. If I live in California, I'm gonna burn down the Nestle plant. No, you're not. I'll set the water free. <laughs> <laughs> just fills the streets. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, well, shit, now it's dirty. Eric, and now where we will. No, and up, then you, and up, then you have a flood and fucking... Eric, I'm pretty sure that is called... What's it called? Like Industrial you know, espionage? That, no. What's it called when you sabotage people that do things to the environment? Eco-terrorism. Eco-terrorism. I'm pretty sure that might be called eco-terrorism. I mean... <laughs> sure. I mean, it if it means California doesn't have to freak out every time it rains, <laughs> and like, oh, dear God, it's raining. It's like, oh, that's it. This is one of the reasons I don't open up Facebook, period. Because every time I get more weather from Facebook than I do the Weather Channel. <laughs> and in California, it'll be, it's raining, God praise everything. Or like, like, hashtag blessed, praise, praise it, <laughs> praise the rain. Like, that's Twitter, it's that's raining, not Facebook. Dude. California is just in... California is just like the set of holes. Yo. Yeah. Was the, uh, you know, California it either holes rains earlier? or it, it it's either dry as hell or it pours. Yeah. yeah. There's no like sh like shower. It doesn't like it, it doesn't spit in California. I think I'd like to live in Chicago. You know where I'd hate I'm, to live? Chicago. 
Alaska. Denver. Yeah. Why would I hate to live she in would Denver? Not hate Their Denver airport's no. super fucked up. It's weird. The airport is crazy. Never been to. But you it's, Google it. I, know, I just named, yeah, I just named like, a city. There are some big weird murals in that airport. Google <laughs> the Denver airport murals. <laughs> okay, I will. Later. Oh. I would hate to live in like... Egypt. That would suck. I wouldn't want to live in Washington, D.C. I'd like to live just outside Washington. Yeah, like Virginia. No, I mean like Maryland. Okay. Maryland's fine. If, like, but no. You mean the heart of the South? What? (laughs) What? A place I went to, Camp Shoe Ground. Wasn't wasn't called that. The guy who took us there was named Shoe. It was called Shoe. Took us to his trailer park camp. Um, was in, was in Maryland. Mm-hmm. There was way too many flags there. <laughs> Wasn't Maryland a Union state? Maybe. I believe so. I'm not too sure. My point is, it just gets crazier. <laughs> like Anywhere Denver south area. of the Mason-Dixon line. <laughs> I'd hate... Do you know where the Mason-Dixon line is, Katie? Isn't that the actual line of the North and the South? Yes. So, yes. Is it a, is a, is it a, it's above North Carolina, right? It's it, it's it's the it's bottom border of Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh, shit, really? That's considered Katie, that's the Mason-Dixon line. Fifth grade. No, uh, fourth grade. You went to Lancaster. Yeah? You got the map, right? No. I wouldn't want to live in Lancaster. Do not live in Lancaster. <laughs> they have the worst CBS on Earth. <laughs> They're a godless town. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to look up. If California has CVS. I think they do. I don't think so. I, I would hope so. Not they have a right aid. They have yeah. right aid. Remember, California, Lancaster is a godless heathen town. It doesn't sell pudding. I just said, you just said the same thing I just said, Katie. Like, that's fine. <sighs> do they have it? The problem is, like, that's such an yes. inside joke among us yeah. <laughs> that no one will ever understand it. Doesn't matter. And I'm okay with that. Oh, that one closes at 8 p.m. <laughs> that one's open 24 hours, so that's good. Well, I think this. I think that's a good stop. I think that's a kill? I think, I think that's it's time we hit the eject button. All right, everybody. Um, I need that good thud. There we go. Jesus. Nick did whatever the hell that was. Hit <laughs> the uh, eject button. You guess in the comments down below. Uh, thank you for watching the Shaking Big. Thank you for listening to the Shaking Big podcast. Um, Whoa. I just want to remind everyone that I love all of you. But like seriously, please support us on Patreon. I know that cheapens what I just said, but. He'll Please. love you if even you love more. the show and you know we love you, throw us a couple bucks and the show will come out better. We can get two more mics. This can. I don't like sharing a mic with Katie. Bitch. You don't talk to the mic. Yes, I do. I mean, really, you little two don't. <laughs> yeah, it. it it's it's, it's hard to. I know. Yeah. It's hard to. But if we get those Especially two mics, to, like, then we, yeah, then we can. Yeah, then it's a little easier. Then we can get like more mic stands. Or... We can rig up a way for them to be above us, so we can just move them around with us. Yep. Try one where you just like turn them. Yeah. See what happens. <sighs> and then we'll start turning that one. Yeah. Those are good bucks, and the show will be better, and you'll get stuff in return. Yep. Like, you love us, and we'll just love you right back. I, I know, I said love a lot. That was, that was a little deep there. You okay, man? No. Alright. <laughs> um, Katie, you broke him long ago. I yes. did not break him. Um, I don't believe you, Katie. Good night, everybody. Peace. Love. Chicken grease. We're out. Ba-boom! So yeah, California does have uh, CBS. Yeah. Yeah. He's good for me. By the way, when we're talking about Kylo, we didn't make him again. No. Oh.